Hey guys, today we're going to talk about forward-facing sonar and how to set it up properly. A lot of the problems that you guys are having are because of low voltage issues. With my forward-facing sonar, I've got one of these 93 systems from Garmin. And, you know, I could see pretty good out to about 30 feet or so, and that's it. You know, it just didn't see real good out past that. Everything didn't show up real well. So the problem was is I'm not getting enough voltage to my unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these small lithium 12 volt units here. This one has like 35 or 40 amp hours. Well, the Garmin uses with the black box and the Garmin 93, in 12 hours it uses 19 amp hours. So I'm going to have plenty of battery power with this small unit and see I'll show you the size of my hand compared to that unit. It's very it's small. So I'm going to put that unit in my front rod locker where my black box is, hook it directly to my black box and run the power back to the unit. And so what what I was having problems with is when I came up here to the front to where all my electronics are hooked up to go back to the battery I had my power connected into this unit right here. And so I tested that unit right there. And I'm only getting like 12.1 volts here. So I have two options. I could either run a bigger wire all the way from the back battery section all the way up th front through the side. Well, that that's going to be difficult to do because this is jam packed now because I've got old wires in here that probably need to be pulled out from old units and this piece of conduit that runs under the rail of the Ranger boat here is just about tapped out and I don't really feel like doing that. So I purchased this little unit here that I just showed you and I'm going to put it in the rod locker and I'm going to put it on an on off switch so that I can use it, you know, by itself just for my Garmin unit. And see now I've got it hooked up to the battery right now. And if you can see, see now I've got 13.1 volts at the unit where I was having before like, you know, 11 after it'd been on for just a little bit of time, I only had like 11 volts. And so I wasn't getting enough power to get a clear image on my live site or my live scope. So with this small battery unit, I purchased a little tiny smart charger, 20 some dollars is all it is. And I can just plug this in and it just has a set of clips on it. I can clip it onto the battery when I want to charge it after I turn, after I turn the switch off on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run another power line, you know, about four feet underneath of my front deck to my rod locker to connect my unit power to the battery. The battery is already connected to the black box now. So all I gotta do is run that wire, put a switch on it, and that should solve all of my power issues with my live site. So this is something you guys can do to you know better be able to see your live site and see what's going on down there. And I think that's why a lot of people are frustrated with live site. Like, I, I, I just don't really see anything. I can't understand what I'm seeing is because you're probably underpowered. You know, and even if I did run it all the way back to my battery, I got a gel back there right now, AGM battery. And, you know, it has a little bit more voltage than normal, but everything else in the world is hooked up to it also back there. All my other electronics, my pumps, my lights, everything, my starting battery, the whole deal. And, you know, I kind of noticed the power was bad because when I went to start my motor, then my live site up front would blink off and on and restart. So just going to bypass that all together, put it on its own dedicated system, charge it by itself on a different on a different charger. Keep my AGM for the back. Uh, option you could do would be to change your starting battery. I have lithium for my trolling motor batteries. You could change your starting battery to one of these 125 amp hour lithium batteries, that probably would do the trick for you. And see, so the key is if you use lead acid or, or even AGM throughout the day, 
you know, the voltage starts to drop, 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 drop pretty quick. And, you know, it's fully charged. An AGM is fully charged at like 13. And a, a lead acid is fully charged at like 12.7 volts. So this lithium that I have here, it's going to maintain voltage above that 12.7, even when it's almost completely dead. So it's going to maintain a high voltage all day long, even though the battery is starting to drain some. So this is something you probably should add if you're serious about live scope, live sight, either a big lithium in the back or a little supplemental lithium battery like I'm going to do here in the side. Again, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe to my channel, watch my videos on a regular basis, please hit the subscribe button, like it, share it with your friends, and put a comment in the bottom. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.